Tinkercad SimLab motors are absolutely fantastic. I've got a project that shows it, so let's get cracking. If you've never used Tinkercad before, it is simply a website. I always choose sign in with Google. I have lots of day one tutorials up here if you want to get started quickly. Today, I want to highlight the motor challenge. There are still seven days left. There are 154 submissions. It is a chance for you to bring your designs to life. It is a Tinkercad SimLab superpower. You can make things move independently. I've got many awesome tutorials. Once again, check over here for my day one starters. And then in no time, you'll be making your own awesome projects. You can simply start by clicking copy and tinker right here. I want to show you some of the awesome submissions already. There is a sewing machine created by ZDP. Once again, when you click on these, they are set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. These designs are all fantastic. Love the dominoes, the SimLab clock, the ornithopter mechanism. There is a Stirling engine, a luck wheel, a quadcopter, the thunderstorm, a sweet summer globe. We've got the splashdown and the seaweed by Xavier and also a sweet Ferris wheel. Amazing projects that are totally worth the time to check it out. I'm going to show you another place to look for cool designs as well. If we type in HLMT23 and press enter, this is a tag that you can add to any project and I will check out your awesome designs. Now currently it's sorted by relevance. I want to switch it to recent. And when we switch it to recent, we find out all the cool things like Nantama is back. I'm going to give that an awesome. There's also a fun resilience toy. Going to give that an awesome. And then friends, this is the one I really wanted to get to. It is a sweet digger created initially by the master kid. Now because ZDP used copy and tinker, it shows who made the original. I'm going to give this an awesome. I'm going to real quickly click on the digger and I'm going to give it a wow because it's pretty darn spectacular. And now I want to show you the modified digger by ZDP. When you hit copy and tinker, you get an exact copy of the project created by the other user. So what has happened here is ZDP has taken the sweet project initially created by MasterKid and has added these sweet tracks check this out we've got cogs that are gonna drive the motors there's one on the left and there's one on the right this has a differential steering note it does have differential steering but be careful this simple model can throw the tracks of course that's the right drive motor and finally this note highlights that it was originally created by master kid and friends, with that bit of intro out of the way, let me show you the cubes and the awesome digger in SimLab. So notice it turns orange. This is the geometry becoming fixed. And you can see all of these components. These are axle connectors. You can get these right here. That was more geometry snapping in. If you click on these items, you can see the material they're using is polystyrene. If you go out here, these objects are all plastic. All of the items in this project are ready to move. This is where you could make an item static. I've got several tutorials that explain that as well. Once again, these back here are the motors. So you can see that this has a torque of 50 and an RPM of 36. It's connected to the styrofoam and it's connected to the little axle that runs it. Now, once you've got the geometry loaded, you can hit play and check it out. It drives forward, it scoops, and eventually, check out those tracks, it falls off the cliff. How fun is that? Now, because this is SimLab, you can scrub the slider back, move the angle however you want, and replay it and learn more and more about your awesome machine and how well it works. Once again, off the cliff. What a fun creation. Real quickly, I want to just say thanks again to MasterKid for the original creation and ZDP for these wicked cool tracks. Friends, if you're looking for more, don't forget, 
in the cards or the description of this video. I will have links to the absolute basics so you can start making your own epic sim lamp creations as well. Have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, while wrapping up, I want to take a moment to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I also want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below that, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it in its very bottom you will find a coupon code 25 hl tinkercad it'll get you 25 percent off any of the amazing courses offered at cadclass.org you can use this link to visit now I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in message tool, Friends. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. You can also click up here at the top and find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you're the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.